Jacob Christensen, also known as Nakey Jakey, is one of the most popular video game essay channels on YouTube with over 1.7 million subscribers. He's also got a Twitch following of over 100,000 and a verified Spotify artist account with over 300,000 active monthly listeners and several popular singles with millions of streams. But just as quickly as Jakey skyrocketed to popularity, he seems to have completely disappeared. He hasn't posted on his main YouTube channel in eight months and he hasn't streamed anytime recently either. He's also stopped using both Twitter and Instagram around the same time in early January. So let's take a look at how Jakey got his success, and then let's see if we can figure out what happened to Nakey Jakey. Jacob was born in December of 1994. He spent most of his childhood in a small town in South Dakota called Hot Springs. He grew up the youngest of eight kids in a self-storage facility that his parents and his cousin's parents bought and renovated into a hotel. Jakey says his parents banned video games when he was growing up, but to get around this, he set up a tiny CRT TV in a closet and a PlayStation 1 that his friend gave him to secretly play Tony Hawk. Then Jakey says that in seventh grade, his parents moved to Colorado Springs where he didn't know anyone or have any friends, so he turned to drum and used band to make new friends. His parents eventually changed their minds and started letting him play video games. Eventually, they decided to move back to South Dakota, but before they did, one of Jakey's friends, Jesse, gave him a copy of Bioshock. Jakey had a hard time reconnecting with old friends back in South Dakota, so he dove into the world of Bioshock, which offered an amazing escape for him. This experience influenced Jakey's love of video games massively, which was his motivation for starting his YouTube channel. He explained how his life after high school and his YouTube channel got started in this tweet. Went to college for two weeks and then dropped out because I couldn't afford it. Worked two different jobs in Denver for two years and was very depressed and poor, but had a lot of free time, so I started making videos when I wasn't making music. Despite his tough life circumstances, Jakey started making some quality content. The oldest video on his channel is from 2015, and it's called Games That Should Bang, Grand Theft Auto V and Metal Gear Solid V. In this series, he compares two games that he thinks would benefit from using features from each other. It's a unique video game essay style, with Jakey's offbeat humor keeping things interesting, you never know what he's going to say next. His success wasn't instant though, and after posting his first 10 videos, he made this video celebrating hitting 78 subscribers. We met 78 subscribers. 78. This is huge, dude. I'm talking Bentleys. I'm talking bad bitches, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking like <sighs> the second I found out, dude, they sent me, they sent me, they sent me this. They sent me this in the mail. You see that? You see that? That's like a million dollars. But slow growth didn't slow Jakey down. He made another eight videos before things really started to take off for him and his channel. In this video from April of 2016, he explains that his channel went from 400 subscribers to 5,000 overnight after somebody posted his video to Reddit. In this thread, Jakey got a lot of nice comments, hate comments, and constructive criticism, and he used this as motivation to continue to develop his channel and his audience. He continued making his Games That Should Bang videos and started mixing in rap reviews. Jakey's passion for music really shines through in these videos, and he was able to combine his love of music and video games with beats he made himself. Jakey's lyrics carry the videos, and along with solid editing and production, his channel started to get some serious traction. By February of 2017, the channel grew to 50,000 subscribers. After this huge milestone, Jacob started experimenting with his content yet again, trying his hand at more serious essay videos, along with some great new series ideas. But what came next would be a massive development in his career. Jake had been posting beats on SoundCloud for a long time, and his love of making beats, knowledge of drums, and practice writing lyrics for his rap reviews all finally coalesced. He was about to become a serious musical artist. In May of 2017, he posted his first serious song on his YouTube channel, South Dakota. This song would go on to get over 1.3 million views on YouTube and over 6 million streams on Spotify. Extremely impressive for someone striking it out on their own in the music industry. This has since led to a lot of comparisons between Jakey and Joji, everyone's favorite crass pink YouTube guy turned pop sensation. This music would kick off the next era for Jacob's channel, a mix of original songs, topical essays, and video game content his fans had come to love. Over the next couple years, Jakey would experiment with more broad topics, expanding the scope of his videos to things like save points, clothing, and moms in video games. He also started collaborating with other YouTubers. In July of 2018, he posted, YouTubers talk about their favorite games, where he interviews Boy in a Band, Eddie Burback, Drew Gooden, Nerd City, Danny Gonzalez, and Gus Johnson. 
Jakey would later go on to be the first guest on the Gus and Eddie podcast. Later that year, one of the most anticipated video games of the decade was released, Red Dead Redemption 2. Jakey was so excited that he dropped a hilarious country music parody video just hours before the game released. I love the way your beard grows. Holy shit, first person boom. And Johnny's back sick dear. Get him, Johnny. Critical and popular acclaim for this game was extremely positive when it first came out, and critic scores are still outstanding even to this day. But two months after his hype music video dropped, Jacob released a 40 minute documentary going into depth on things the game did well and what it got wrong, titled Rockstar's Game Design is Outdated. This was a pretty big risk for his channel at the time since people were fanboying over this game so much. But Jake's honesty and hard work paid off and this became the most viewed video on his channel, currently sitting at over 8.5 million views. Since then, his upload schedule has slowed down considerably, and he's only posted nine videos in the last two and a half years. In February of 2020, Jake posted an update on Instagram letting everyone know that he had finally achieved his dream of moving to New York City. Unfortunately, this turned out to be one of the most difficult times to move to New York, right before the pandemic started. Now, it's been eight months since he's posted anything to YouTube. He's also ghosted social media, and it looks like he hasn't touched it since January of this year. He also paused his Patreon in December, and a lot of people started to wonder if he was okay. Then in February, he popped up on a surprise phone call on the Gus and Eddie podcast. Hold up Dude. really quick. Yeah. Jakey, you're on the podcast. <laughs> 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 I got a little scratchy on the end there. <laughs> hey, what if what if you tell me I'm on the podcast and I immediately just went into fucking Harry Potter Cedric Diggory's dad after he dies? My boy, <laughs> <laughs> my boy. Do we um, take the porker? I'm like, yo, I'm actually getting a call from Eric, so I'll let you get back. Yeah, to I'll call you later. Okay. Okay, so that's all right. See ya. I wave little thing, guest but... appearance. You never know who's going to stop by the Gus and Eddie podcast virtually. But this didn't give fans a lot of information to go off of. Finally, about a month ago, Jake posted this on Patreon. Hey, Gamer Nation, just wanted to give a little update because I saw some comments and posts on social media recently asking if I was okay or if I'd gone missing or something. Please don't worry, I'm very okay and doing good. I've been working on a handful of projects and also been working on trying to take better care of myself. I got vaccinated, smoking that Moderna loud pack, been dieting, watching my girlfriend play lots of Witcher 3, writing music and videos, skateboarding, petting cats, farting out my own ass, etc. I realize I never posted about this, but I actually paused the Patreon back in December for the peace of mind while chugging away on things, so none of you should have been charged since then. If for some reason you were, let me know. I took a break from social media at the beginning of the year, and because it had such a positive influence on my mental health, I kinda just decided to stay away till I have something to post or share that's hopefully worthwhile. Anyways, I'm hoping to have something up soon, but if you know me at all, you know that soon has a very flexible definition. Lamau, erm, cringes itself, ooh woo. Hope you're all doing good too. Here's a couple pics to prove to the haters that I'm still alive and stinky as ever. XOXO, Jacob. So now you know what happened to Nakey Jakey, and I'm really looking forward to both his return to YouTube and his album drop. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also like this video I made about what happened to Call Me Carson, or this other video here. 